Hey everybody. Just been standing here watching this little crayfish burrow out its hole. It's digging himself a nice little cave to live in. So I actually had a few things on my mind about crayfish that I wanted to chat about. One was the fact that the other day there was a crayfish in here that was on death's door. I did take that out of the tank and I put it in a bucket in the other room. I've kept my eye on it for a couple of days, but it's no longer with us. It was very, very clearly dead when I just checked on it. So I've since taken the uh, bucket outside and thrown it down in the bushes well away from the house. So it's not going to stink up the place, but uh, it was very clearly dead. So that crayfish is now gone. I do believe that was the largest one in the tank. So no idea why, but it's no longer with us. Uh, I also wanted to point out that I've mentioned before that crayfish are uh, less sophisticated. Their central nervous system is less sophisticated than that of a common cockroach. So if anybody were to get upset about seeing, you know, the crayfish fight or the crayfish die or something, you know, think about would you get upset if you saw a cockroach get stepped on or something. And I was watching a video the other day that I found very interesting. It was a video about bugs. And in it, one of the people asked the person speaking about bugs to define what you mean when you say bug. And they pointed out that that's a very good observation because there's a lot of things that are basically bugs, but we don't think of as bugs. And they went on to explain that we think of bugs as land-based arthropods. So they explained how there's lots of, you know, aquatic arthropods such as crayfish and lobsters and crabs and other aquatic crustaceans that basically count in the same family. They just live in the water, so we don't really think about them as bugs. But effectively, when people down south call these mud bugs, they really are bugs. You know, I'm not exaggerating at all when I say that a crayfish is no more sophisticated than any other bug you might find crawling around on the ground. So maybe looking at crayfish might make you think of bugs differently. But personally, I think that looking at bugs makes me think of crayfish differently. I definitely just see them as a large, strange bug that lives in the tank. I don't think there's a lot of thought going on in there. Uh, they don't have the same kind of nervous system, even as the fish in this tank do. Uh, crayfish are very much bugs that just happen to live in the water, and they're interesting and have a uh, unique body shape and so on and so forth. But they're really just bugs. So, there you have it. That's the official, unofficial. They would be bugs if they lived on land because we don't think of aquatic arthropods as bugs. But basically, they're no different at all. Uh, I also wanted to point out, let's see if it's still in there. When I first came up to this tank, I noticed one of these crayfish has found itself a little hiding hole. Don't know how well that's coming out on camera. There you go, that's better look at him. So this piece of wood is very much, as I said, is more than just a piece of uh, visual structure in the tank. It's a physical structure in there. It's got all kinds of little nooks and crannies. It's a big chunk of habitat is what it really is. So the crayfish seem to enjoy it. I'm going to have to leave it in here at least as long as, you know, I need my quarantine tank. So for the while, next while anyway, get used to that big lump of wood being in there. And who knows, it'll probably just wind up staying in there. I'll just get so used to it that it'll just wind up being there. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about was just a little bit about my crayfish. I did want to reiterate that they are indeed bugs. So don't get too upset about, you know, them coming and going and fighting with each other and so on and so forth. It's really not a big deal at all. It's like watching two ants squabble. So make sure you're subscribed here to my YouTube channel. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. Don't forget this one is my native tank. Thanks again, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.